Hello and welcome to the Keywords on Fire tutorial video. Keywords on Fire is arguably the most powerful tool in the Zonguru toolkit. There are so many different ways to use this tool. Today I'm going to be running through three of the most popular. That includes how to use the tool to find your best, most relevant keywords, how to use the tool to uncover winning niche ideas, and lastly, how to use the tool to start the halo effect method. The halo effect is a great strategy for anyone who is about to launch on Amazon or wanting to invigorate a stale listing. I'll timestamp each of these three topics below, so feel free to jump ahead at any stage. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is how to use Keywords on Fire to uncover the best, most relevant keywords for your listing. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I just want to explain that Keywords on Fire is a reverse ASN lookup tool. What that means is from your pool of ASNs, and you can select up to 25 at a time, Keywords on Fire will show you which keywords are currently being used on Amazon to find those products, as well as a whole host of other information. So to find those ASNs, we have two options. We can manually enter them into this top bar here, or we can click Add Products by Phrases. This is by far and away the quicker option and it gives you the choice to enter in your main buyer search term. So I'm going to use yoga mat. I can choose my marketplace and click search. From there, I'm given 25 listings that Songguru believes is most relevant to that search term. I can scroll down and select or deselect any that I want or simply click select all and add products. By doing that, it will automatically import those ASNs into this top menu bar. I've got the option to add a session name, a tag, and again, make sure that I'm searching in the right marketplace for me. Then it's a matter of clicking run keyword analysis. Within one to two minutes, that session will be ready. To save time in this tutorial, I'm going to show you one that I've already done. So I've just jumped into that saved session for yoga mats. And the first thing you'll probably notice is that there is a huge amount of data here. Keep in mind, you can change your layout at any stage by clicking the table settings on the right hand here. This will allow you to tick or untick any columns you do or do not want to see. Now, if I draw your attention to the top, these are your broad metrics showing you how many competitors, how many ASNs you've pulled into the session, and from those competitors, how many unique keywords you've uncovered. So we've found 300 unique deduped keywords from those ASNs. We've also got our estimated monthly revenue and search volume that those keywords are driving. You can see we're really dealing with some big figures here. Now, more importantly, we've got those 300 unique keywords laid out below with all their metrics. Now, if you're not sure what any of the columns mean, simply hover over them and we'll give you a description. So if we start with our ZG score, this is one of my favorites and it's a relevancy metric. It's a score between zero and 100 on how relevant that keyword is likely to be to your listing. We've also got the keyword dollar. Now this is the estimated combined monthly revenue the keyword is driving for listings ranked in the top 25. We also have our search volume, which is the exact match monthly searches for this keyword on Amazon. Now, another one of my favorites is the top 25 competitors. This is showing you the number of competitors that rank in the top 25 for the keyword and is a great way for uncovering uh, underutilized keywords. For example, already I can see these keywords here aren't being well uh, optimized for by some of the competitors. That's an opportunity for me to jump in and take ownership of that keyword and steal those clicks and conversions. We've also got our ZG launch score. This is going to be super handy to anyone that is about to launch. It is your sales goalpost, how many sales you should be aiming to make on a daily basis to rank on page one for your keyword. We have our units, rating and price. These are all the average number sold or ratings or price point for the listings ranked in the top 25 for the keyword. If we jump ahead to the keyword title, this shows you the percentage of listings that have that particular keyword in their title. We've got our estimated bid cost for the keyword, and these three here can be super helpful. Essentially what they're showing you is if there's two or three competitors that really have that niche stolen up, are they stealing the bulk of the clicks and conversions? What is their monthly revenue for those top three listings? So you can see here, 
for example, yoga mat stick, 72% of the clicks are going to the top three. That might indicate that that's very tightly held and that I'm better focusing on a different keyword. Now, one of my favorite features of Keywords on Fire is the competitor positions. If I scroll across, you can see that at the top here, I've got each of the 25 listings that I'm comparing and scores beneath showing where they're ranking for each, each particular keyword. This is color coded to make my job even easier. Red means they're ranking very highly. You can see here they're in the second position, fourth position, first position, they're way up there. Then it moves to orange, then it's light green, dark green, and then spaces. So ideally, you really want to be looking for those greens and spaces showing you that there's an opportunity to jump in on those keywords. Now, it can obviously take a lot of time to go through each keyword line by line. I don't know about you, but that's not something that I'm wanting to do. So I would highly recommend using filters. Filters can be found up here. For example, if we just use some of my favorites, let's try the ZG score and we'll say that it's greater or equal to 60. As soon as I input that, you can see that my list of keywords has been filtered to match that specific requirement. Now my unique keywords have been filtered down to 50. It's already starting to become a much more manageable keyword list to work with. Maybe the next thing I'd like to do is check the search volume. So maybe I could say search volume, I would like greater than or equal to 2000. I can of course keep going. Uh, another one I like to do is the top 25 competitors is less than or equal to 12. Remember, we don't want to be entering or bidding on those keywords that are highly competitive, trying to rank for something with very well established sellers. So I now have a list of 40 keywords. These might be ones that I want to use in my listing. Once I'm happy with my refined results, I can save this. I can give it a name and send it to other tools like Listing Optimizer and really get to work optimizing my copy with the best, most relevant keywords for my listing. It's as simple as that. Now I'm really excited to show you this next feature of Keywords on Fire. It's all about using the tool to uncover winning niche ideas. Now I'm going to stick with the yoga theme. I've run a new Keywords on Fire session for the phrase yoga. Yoga is very broad. It covers so many different products. It's what we call a macro niche. Now within that macro niche, there's going to be hundreds of micro niches. And especially when you're searching in markets like the US, that's important. You want to find those micro niches, those niches within a niche. Now to do that, we're going to use filters. So you can see from the unique 300 keywords we've got selected, we're going to start filtering those until we're left with a handful of keywords that match what we're looking for. Now, the filter options I use here, they're relevant for me. You might decide that you're looking for something slightly different and that's okay. Every seller is going to be looking for something slightly different. Now, when I'm entering a niche, I want to make sure that on average, the ratings are on the lower side. Obviously in the US, they are a little bit higher. It's a much more competitive landscape, but still where possible, I want to keep them low. So I might start filtering by saying uh, ratings less than or equal to 2000. And you can see instantly once that's input, my unique keywords have dropped to 71 already. Now, the next thing I might want to check is that the, the niche isn't dominated by a few big players. I can check that by seeing who steals the top three clicks. So I might say top three clicks is less than or equal to 60%. Now, each time I enter a filter option, it's going to refine my unique list of keywords even further. Now, the other thing I want to check maybe is my ZG launch score, how many sales I should be aiming for uh, to get to that page one. Now, I might be comfortable having a ZG launch score somewhere uh, less than or equal to 30. Uh, the other thing that I want to check is that there's demand for my product, that people are actively searching for it. This is where the search volume comes into play. So I want to make sure that the search volume 
is greater than or equal to 6,000. And lastly, my price point. That's really important to me. I want to make sure that there's enough room in there to make a decent profit. So I might say price is greater than or equal to 20. Now you can see my keyword list is down to eight. So instead of looking at 300 different keyword phrases, I've got eight. So let's have a look at these. We've got things like home gym storage, yoga wheel, yoga set, yoga mat bag, yoga towel. There's some great stuff in here. And look at the search volume that these ones have, as well as the keyword dollar value. Remember, this is the estimated combined monthly revenue that keyword is driving for the top 25 listings. That's certainly something that I'd be happy to have a piece of. So this is where it can uncover great niche ideas. From here, I would take that keyword, have a look at the Chrome extension, put some of the competitors into sales by, and see if these are niches that I want to continue searching for. So the third feature of Keywords on Fire is the ability to use this tool to uncover your long tail keyword opportunities. And the reason why this is relevant is that you might want to use the halo effect strategy. This strategy is super powerful and will be highly relevant if you're about to launch a new product or maybe you're wanting to invigorate a stale listing. The way the halo effect method works is that you focus on those longer tail keyword opportunities. Those keywords that traditionally have lower search volume, but much lower competition. When you start ranking for those long tail keywords, the algorithm will reward you by organically ranking you for shorter tail keywords. This is the aim of the game, but first you need to uncover those long tail keyword opportunities. So I'm using the example insulated wine tumbler. I've run my keywords on fire session with my 25 competitors, and you can see that it's uncovered 300 unique keyword opportunities. I've changed my layout just to include the columns that I'm interested in today. Yours might look a little different. Now, the first thing I want to do is to make sure that my keywords are relevant to my listing. So I'm going to search and filter by the ZG score and say that I only want to see those keywords with the ZG score, let's say above 50. And again, when I start to filter, you'll notice that that unique keyword list drops uh, quite dramatically with each search as I refine my search results. Now, the next thing I want to do is all about search volume. I want to make sure that there's sufficient search volume for the keyword. So to start with, I might say search volume is greater than or equal to 1000 and filter the results. And I just wanted to stress that I am searching within the US. It's all going to be relative to your marketplace. If you're searching within Australia, you're going to change your, your metrics to suit. Obviously, those more emerging markets don't have the same sort of search volume that you can see in the US. The other thing that I want to do is cap my search volume. So this time I'm going to say I would like my search volume to be less than 7,000. So let's try that. And the next thing that's relevant to me is the top 25 competitors. I don't want to be bidding on a keyword or trying to optimize for a keyword that a lot of my competitors are also searching for. So I might say top 25 competitors is less than or equal to 10. Now if I filter, you'll notice that my 300 unique keywords has dropped dramatically. It's now down in the 20s. The other thing that I can do is make sure that the keywords are relevant to my listing. For example, maybe mine doesn't have a straw. Maybe I'm wanting to exclude a certain brand. I can say keyword does not contain Yeti and filter the results. Again, I can do that multiple times. I could say keyword does not contain the word straw and filter my results again. Now I am down to a list of 22 unique keywords. This is a list that is manageable for me to start working into my listing. Maybe look at PPC and other ways that I can start to organically and paid rank for that long tail keyword. So now you can see I'm down to a list of 22 unique keywords. That's a great long tail keyword that I can start to use on my listing. You'll also notice as I move down here, 
the, the greens and the green the blank space that's opened up indicating that a lot of these competitors aren't focused or optimized for these keywords here which presents a huge opportunity for me now in the US you might be thinking that a search volume of 4,000 isn't that great but what I'm trying to put together here for you is that if you combine 10 or so of these longer tail keywords that adds up to a super healthy search volume that's going to pay great revenue give you a good opportunity to rank and as that grows you'll find that your list of keywords that you're organically ranking for also grows so that is a fantastic way to to find those long tail keywords and just a reminder to save your filtered view so you could save this view as long tail opportunities or something along those lines so you know you can come back and visit them or maybe upload them to your listing optimizer session and start optimizing today.